developing a serious understanding of how things work. I think that's, that's my view of science. It's a real, meaningful understanding of how things work. And that, I mean, you know, if that's what you're able to do as your profession, how can it get any better than that? <laughs> you know what I mean? You can just keep going forever. You really can. There's so many things that we don't know, that we don't understand. Science is the pursuit of that knowledge, how things work. I suppose it was going against my instinct to be safe and careful. And so at the time in particular when I was just starting the lab and I had a grant to do a certain series of experiments and found something that had nothing to do with that grant and spent the grant and beyond on this new stuff which was totally against my instinct but it was definitely the right thing to do and since then I've repeated that mistake over and over again. I don't think it's a mistake. Others would say, in fact, I remember standing up in front of uh, the joint meeting of the young investigators of CIHR Institute of Genetics and Neuroscience and I told them, I said two things. One, always overspend your grant. Two, don't do the experiments that you said you were going to do. And I, a lot of people got very upset about that. But I said that that's how you'll actually discover something. I mean, if you're going to play it safe, don't be a scientist. Because there are way too many people who play it safe, and the literature is just filled with hundreds of thousands of millions of publications that are simply recreating the wheel. And it doesn't actually move knowledge forward, and that's because you can't, you can't play it safe in science. You have to take chances. Well, the system has been built to support productivity. Productivity is measured by numbers of papers, numbers of abstracts. Now, I tell people the numbers mean nothing. The new metrics are all about impact. They're all about who cites what you do. That actually matters because at the end of the day it's about international recognition for what you've actually accomplished and it's not how you frame it, it's how other people frame it that actually matters. And that's never going to come out of doing the safe experiments. It's just not. And so people have to be encouraged to take the risks. But there have to be balances mm -hmm. for risk taking. Yeah, you know, there has to be sort of a somewhat of a safety net for risk taking. Mm -hmm. It's harder and harder to see that these days. Although back then, there were safety nets there. There were little bridges that people would give you, but you'd still have to figure it out yourself. But you know, even if you take it safe, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to be successful as a scientist. I mean, that's the problem. People assume. You know, I produce X and so on and so forth, but still, you know, when it comes to the, the committees that really decide, like the CIHR peer review committees, they want to know that you've actually done something interesting. 99.9% .9 of the time, regardless of the committee, interesting will trump important as defined in the, glo in the larger context because almost invariably, if it's really interesting, ultimately somebody will make it important. <laughs> but the opposite is not true. Because just because you view something as being important, it's not necessarily interesting. So if you want the brightest minds involved, you better make it interesting. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll go elsewhere. Give a damn. Get along. Doesn't matter if you are in elementary school, if you are running a major organization or a major part of the public sector, if you don't give a damn about what you do, and who you serve, and you get, don't get along with everyone regardless of their status, then you will not achieve your full potential. What I learned as uh, a graduate student, I think I still hold dear today, and I think it is probably what sustains me, propels me, is that I, I understand the meaning of the word science and I know how to enjoy it. And so, and, and that's actually critical because, you know, if you don't understand what it means, um, I don't think you can enjoy it as much, but you need to enjoy science to be able to give it all your, all your energies. If you don't strike the balance between, you know, 
interesting and fun, then you're not going to want to do it as much. So I, I'd say if they said, well, yeah, he got it and he knew how to enjoy it. I, I, could, I, I would like that to be my legacy because that's the way I want to go. That's the way I came in. That's the way I want to go out. I don't ever want it to be a job. I don't mind killing myself over it, but I just don't want it to be a job. And that's different, right? Yeah. You can put everything you got into it, but still at the end of the day, you want to be able to sing the Steve Martin song, right? You're going to sing it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sing it because just in case you show it. So I'll just say what the phrase is, you know. The, the most amazing thing to me is I get paid for doing this, yeah. right? And so he says that about stand-up comedy, and I yeah. say that about science, is that it's, it's too good. Yeah. So, you know, why would they pay me to do it, right? Like I should be, you know, doing it. Um, so that, I mean, that, that I think is really important, and I think it probably stands for, because I, I, as I said, important to understand the meaning and enjoy doing it. The dream of anybody involved in biology and medicine is that somehow, somewhere, you would be able to say a life was changed as a consequence of something I did. But if you look at it broadly speaking, there's lots of ways of seeing the fruits of your labor. No doubt, quality of life is huge, and you want to be able to say that you impacted on quality of life. You can do that through your research. It's translation. You can do it through education. Lots of things you can do. I mean, if you inspire others and they go on to have an impact, it's all good. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be that, that direct connection. I mean, the indirect connections are also massive. I mean, that's the, the pleasure of being able to say that people in my lab, smarter than me, are going on to do great things and I can bask in their glow. I can. It's, it's really all good. There's nothing wrong. You want to welcome always people who are smarter than you and let them just step all over you to go on to the next thing and that's my view of education is I want to take those bright minds craft a little bit of something and then watch them just go on to do great things I mean that's that's the, the process that I love